today is going to be a prophetic service. Today is going to be a prophetic service. God himself is a prophet. I also need you to understand that the devil is a prophet as well. Praise the Lord. And I say again, today is a prophetic service. Being a prophet does not mean that you plan what to say. No. That which God has told me to say to you or to speak to you is what I'm going to tell you. And when God states something, it must happen because it is within his plan. Hallelujah. I shall start by prophesying about Tanzania. In 2013 and 2014, I already explained it for those who read through the blog. I told you that God is going to revive the aircrafts here in Tanzania. And many laughed, but hasn't it happened? And I also told you that the Tanzanite mines shall be given back to Tanzanians. Hasn't it happened? And is it, it is not that I went to return them, but it's God himself who is working his plans. In the same year, 2015, I told you that God is going to choose a president that no one has expected to rule the country. Didn't it happen? I told you that God is going to choose a president that no one has expected to rule the country. Didn't it happen? And there were others that the devil tried to put in as president. They all failed. I also told you that he would be a president whose attributes and characters will want to be copied by other leaders in other countries. Isn't this what is happening now? And it is God who said all of this. I was only used as a vessel to bring you the message. And I need you to be aware that nobody should point a finger at the president. Because knowingly or unknowingly, he is also a servant of God. I also told you that it is not that I am going to make it Eden, but God has chosen his people in order to change the country as it is meant to be as Eden. And do not hate the president, because if you hate him, then it is like you are committing a crime or you're committing a sin. Because all that he is doing, it is God who is leading him to do. And let me tell you something else. If it wasn't God who put him in power, he might not have been alive today. But wherever he is, he should not be afraid because God is with him. There are other things that God has told me, but some of them are for myself. And I shall only say them at the time that he allows me to. But at the end of the day, I have sent out the message that God has given me. When God called me in 2010, he told me that Tanzania is Eden. He told me he wants to make it Eden. I also told you that the worth of the mountains and the national parks and everything that God has created in Tanzania. I told you that the economy of Tanzania should be uplifted. Haven't we seen it? And this morning I was talking to God. And God told me that he is going to uplift the economy of Tanzania. It shall be the African economy in Africa. I might be shocked and not believe it, but God is at work. And he is using his people to do what he wants and make the changes that he needs to make in the country. 
In this same year, 2018, there is a theft that has happened within the country that has not been discovered before. God is going to use his people and all the theft that has been done shall be revealed. It doesn't matter how they try to hide it or whatever means they will use to hide it. It shall be revealed. And since 2013, I also spoke about those who have higher positions in the government and have gotten that position through means that are not legal or lawful shall be removed from their positions. It has been done and it's continuing. Many of them shall be removed. Something else about Tanzania, the country, it shall not be divided again, it shall not go back to Tanganyika, but it shall remain Tanzania. Ever since God has called me, he has never said pray for Tanganyika, he always says pray for Tanzania. So they may plan so and discuss about such things of divisions of the country, but it shall not happen. Praise the Lord. And there are other prophecies that are not supposed to be said here. In 2015, I also wrote in the blog about the Tanzanian port being uplifted and being made better. That is Jesus at work. And this year, those who are members of Freemason, many of them shall die. It is not easy to know them, but many of them are famous people. But God is at work. He is the one dealing with them now. Because their plan with people and the world is not a good one. Something else that is going to happen, there's going to be a big divide within different countries. There's going to be a divide within countries, especially the fir first world countries and also the United Nations. And he also told me this, so when I start to see it happen, I don't bother to pray because then I will know it is God at work. Something else that shall happen, the national park in Leonardo shall be given back to the citizens of Tanzania. And others within themselves are saying, what is he saying? But I have brought you the message. It is Jesus at work. And also those who have stolen money from Tanzania shall bring it back. They shall be followed wherever they are and don't be forced to bring back the money that they have stolen. God will keep strength the army of Tanzania. He will also keep strengthening the army of Tanzania. And there are those who are praying badly over Tanzania, even some using the Bible. These are not people who are sent by God. And God has said to me, those shall suddenly disappear or people will just instantly forget about them. There are a lot of other things, but I shall say them at another time. God bless Tanzania. And God's hand is over Tanzania. And his purpose shall come to be. In every department, God has put a leader there. And without a good leader, a country cannot prosper. And if you get a leader who does not please God, the country cannot go well because God cannot use this person in order to lead the country. 
be it in the political parties, be it in projects, be it in functionality and labor force within the country, whoever shall get leadership in a way that's not legitimate will not have peace for the rest of their lives and many shall die. I hope you understand. And this is going to happen because God does not want stupidity. Let me put it in other words. If you steal votes, you shall not have peace. And if you don't have peace, I don't know how you shall live. You can plan to do so, but you shall not succeed. I have brought you the message. Our God is a rightful God. And I'm saying this again. I'm repeating it so that you can hear me. The devil, you hear me. And I say it again. Do not steal votes. And these words shall not be in vain. Just like how it rains and the grass grows. We are going to hear a lot of death from people who are in leadership because they stole votes from 2018 onwards. God is rebuilding his country. And you could be sitting there calling yourself Tanzania, but you're not worthy of calling yourself so by your actions. Praise the Lord. God bless Tanzania. And God, we glorify you.